Please, Zach. Oh. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello and welcome to FTV. It's Friday, September 24, 2021. I'm Ellie along with the rest of the FTV crew. As that testing is taking place today in the senior cafeteria, from 8 until 10.45. Today in the Blue Floor Gym from 7.30 to 9 a.m., the college fair will take place. College fairs are great opportunities to collect admissions, information on potential colleges and schools, and help narrow down your options for college. It's also a great place to learn about the colleges you're interested in and to talk to people with firsthand experiences by attending. You can better cultivate an ideal college list. Tomorrow, Oakcrest will hold its open house from 10 until 1 p.m. This is a great time to talk with coaches, see the clubs that are offered, speak with advisors, as well as come to tour to school and see what is offered here at Oakcrest. Congratulations to the cast of Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Thank you for all who auditioned. As David Bowie said, let's dance. And that's the theme for next week from September 28th through the 30th, beginning next Tuesday through Thursday. The dance team will hold its auditions to be on the team. Everyone must audition. Even if you were on the team last year, they are looking for about 25 to 30 dancers. If you're interested, you must have a physical to participate on the team. Go to the school website, click on athletics tab, and click on the link for physical examination form. You may audition without this to participate. You will need to complete it. Choreography workshops will be held Tuesday, September 28th, and Wednesday, September 29th from 2.35 to 3.45. You will learn a short dance combination. You may only attend one workshop day. You must sign up on the bulletin board outside of room 419. You must attend the audition on September 30th to perform the dance before a panel of judges. If you have a sports conflict, you must make an arrangement to the audition during the school day. Audition results will be posted on the bulletin board outside of the dance studio. Room 419 on Friday morning. The OHS dance team meets on Tuesday and Thursday for the entire year. Rehearsals run from 2.30 to 3.45. They perform a variety of community and school-wide events. The dance team is run at intermediate advanced level. They do all styles of dance. Mrs. Gaskill is excited to see all the regular and new faces ready to dance. COVID-19 has now killed about as many Americans as the 1918-1919 Spanish flu pandemic did. Approximately 675,000. The U.S. population a century ago was just one-third of what it is today, meaning the flu cut a much bigger, more lethal swath through the country. But the COVID-19 crisis is by any measure a colossal tragedy in its own right, especially given the incredible advances in scientific knowledge since then and the failure to take maximum advantage of the vaccines available this time. Like the Spanish flu, the coronavirus may never entirely disappear. Instead, scientists hope it becomes a mild seasonal bug as human immunity strengthens through the vaccinations and repeated infections. The 1918-1919 influenza pandemic killed up to 50 million people globally. At the time, the world had one quarter of the population. It does now. Global deaths from COVID-19 now stand at more than 4.6 million. Last week, Governor Phil Murphy reported over 18,000 COVID-19 breakthrough cases of fully vaccinated individuals testing positive for COVID. This week, Murphy reported over 22,000 total breakthrough cases. Those figures represent a one-week increase of 18% despite the breakthrough cases. However, it's still urged by experts that being vaccinated is the best bet in the fight against COVID. Yesterday, Nate Evans spoke at Oakcrest. He has strong ties to the area as a Covenant House volunteer and ACC graduate. The inspirational speaker is also a mental health advocate, youth mentor, and number one best-selling author. Evans Jr. lives by the quote, change what we can normalize, as his mission to eradicate the stigmas around mental health in communities while also normalizing the conversation on mental health among students and teachers. His words and passion came through to all as he spoke to the crowd last night. That's all for today. So for me and everyone here at FTV, have a great day.